Good morning, it's 9 a.m., the sun is shining, I'm producing about 500 watts of electricity for my boat. I'm gonna give you a full rundown of the entire power system and how it supplies all my electrical needs. Let's check it out. Step one, the sun shines. <laughs> the sun's giving me all the electricity that I need. Here's how it flows through. It goes directly onto my solar panels with no shading, except for my shadow at the moment. You'll notice I have nothing else over my solar panels. That gives me great coverage for the panels all day long. That electricity is then gonna travel down underneath this structure. This structure holds up all the solar panels as well as keeping the sun off my head and supporting other things like my dinghy. All the cables from the solar panels, as you can see the underside here, but that all runs down through here and goes into the boat. My solar panels are hooked up into two different arrays. One array is 600 watts and the other array is 400 watts. That's why I have four cables, two positive and two negative. These cables come down under here and then come up to these. First going through a 30 amp breaker for each in case there's any shorts. Then going on to my two independent MPPT solar charge controllers. You'll notice many of the products I have here are made by Victron. They just make some of the best products out there and that's why I have them. It's as simple as that. Each one of these solar charge controllers will then take whatever volts and amps that are being produced by the solar panel throughout the day. Because remember, it'll change as there's some sun and no sun and so on. It'll take this and convert it into the electricity that my batteries want. These cables then will go down through here and into my engine room. These four cables then continue on down onto my main buses. The reason this is here inside of the engine room is simply to save on space and it's a convenient location for them. This was built into the boat when I first got it. So now our 12 volt electricity is coming through onto these main buses. These main buses then go back out to the rest of my boat and are controlled here through a 12 volt panel. This means that the electricity coming from my solar panels to the charge controllers goes onto a bus, which will split them both to where they'll be used and to where the power will be stored, where the batteries are. This, instead of going straight to the batteries, allows electricity to be used straight and skipping a longer process. So the electricity effectively can go straight from the solar panels to my lights and other electrical needs on the boat, rather than going through the batteries but you still need to be able to capture a large amount of this to use for when the sun isn't shining. So from this bus here, the cables will run back out and go towards my batteries. Any extra electricity not being used by my boat will come through these cables and down into my batteries to be stored. In here and from an earlier video you can see, I have two different battery banks, both that have a capacity of 280 amp hours at 12 volts. These are both lithium iron phosphate batteries that have a battery management system attached to them. You can check out my video last week to see how I actually built each one of these. In turn, whenever there is less load coming from those controllers to the boat, the batteries will power everything else. So between these batteries and those charge controllers, we have even continuous power throughout the boat without fault, both when the sun is shining and when it isn't giving us an efficient and long-term power supply. Also connected to this system is an individual starter battery. This is not a lithium battery. This is a standard lead-acid battery that powers straight to my starter for the diesel engine. As soon as the engine is started, the alternator will kick on and will begin directly powering the starter battery. At which point, once this is fully charged, the excess electricity can be run through and then come over here to help power my lithium batteries. This can be a dangerous process as if you don't have a lead acid battery connected, when these batteries are topped up, the lithium batteries, they will shut off suddenly and it will actually explode your alternator. That's why I have a ACR in line with this system, an automatic charge relay. This helps the system to know when to cut off once the battery management system on the lithium batteries disconnects and closes these off because they have enough electricity. And lastly, inside here, you'll see this gray cable, which is connected through a shunt, which measures the electricity going in and out of these lithium batteries. This shunt will then relay through all this cable all the way back to my 12 volt panel, which I'll show you in a moment. That Victron BMV 
will then tell me how much electricity exactly is inside my lithium batteries. So now that the batteries have been topped up, either from the solar panels or from the alternator, the system is now full and ready to be used. Electricity then can flow back out through the way it came over here to the main bus. From the main bus, it then goes up and through all the way over here to my 12 volt panel. This 12 volt panel then has many switches that go to different operations on the boat. For instance, my main lights, refrigeration, water pressure, anchor lights, autopilot, depth sounder, VHF, and a ton others. That gray cable I spoke about a minute ago goes to this, the Victron BMV battery monitor. As well as giving me an accurate digital readout of the volts in my battery, it also gives me a percentage of exactly how much electricity I have left usable in my batteries. Now the 12 volt is only one part of my electrical system. Another part now added all in is my 120 panel. This panel will control the 120 AC power on my sailboat. Let's see how that works. Going through the full system again, electricity comes in through my solar panels, through the MPPT solar charge controllers. Those in turn charge the batteries. The electricity from the batteries comes through and goes directly as well as to the main bus. Another set of cables goes over to this, my inverter. This is the top of the line inverter you can get for a sailboat, the Victron Multi Plus, 3000 volt amp, 120 amp inverter Multi Plus. This does a couple things. Mostly it's my inverter that will power the 120, but you can also charge your batteries if you're connected to shore power. There is another cable that goes outside and if I wanted to and I was at a dock, I could plug into that. That 120 cable now is plumbed directly right here, going into here and then from here out back to the boat. Similarly, the 12 volt will come from the batteries, go straight here into the inverter and then from here down this cable through the boat and back here to my 120 panel. You can see I have the AC main 30 amp breaker already on as well as my outlets. Right now it's just charging my laptop. Effectively this means that wherever I am in the world I can flip those switches and I'll have AC power in all of these. This system is strong enough that if I want to I could run a full air conditioner, heat guns, refrigerators, microwaves, anything. On my boat I'll probably limit it to just an extra freezer as well as my water maker will become my biggest draws on this. Now I'm gonna recap all that for you really quick. We've got sunlight hitting my solar panels without shade. We have the solar panels that then feed all the way down into the boat, providing me with the actual electricity. That's gonna go through with a 30 amp little fuse just to protect everything. From the fuse, it goes to the solar charge controller. An MPPT solar charge controller is a special version of one. They operate significantly better. They're much more efficient. I highly recommend them. I've used standard solar charge controllers before. Wasn't as good. From the solar charge controller, we're then gonna to go to the main 12 volt bus that can directly power my whole, all the electronics on my sailboat, all the 12 volt right there. But then the rest of that electricity will go over to my 280 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries. Those I built myself. You'll have to check one of my previous videos to see more about that because that's a whole video in and of itself. From those 12 volt batteries, you could think of it like a simple split. You've got 12 volt system, and 120 volt system. From the batteries going to the 12 volt system, it comes right over here to the panel, and that will power each and every little load I need on the boat. Lights, my refrigerator, my fans, you name it. Charging electronics, charging my phone, all that stuff. Going back to the battery, going to that split, the other one, that 12 volt is gonna go up into that inverter. That inverter is then gonna take that DC 12 volt and gonna step it up to 120 volts AC. That 120 AC is going to feed all the way up into the boat over to my 120 panel and that will power things like my water maker, larger fans, uh, outdoor freezer, and really anything else that I want to just plug right in. My laptop will be plugged straight into that for sure and all other electronics that need a 120 panel. I'm gonna add links down in the description to most of these products, at least the ones that I can say I've bought and that I'm using. Thankfully, they're all on my Amazon account, so it'll be very, very simple. If you guys found this video helpful, please help out my channel. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share, 
you know the drill, all that fun stuff. And I want to say a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons, the ones that really support me. If you're interested, feel free to sign up. My patrons are Renai Chai, Kenny Christine Birkenshire, Amy Angleton, Justin Davidson, Alexander Taylor, Jeff Vander Mead, David Page, Mom and Dad, and Dustin Holland. Thank you guys and gals so much. I really appreciate the support. I hope this video helps you guys and I'd love to hear from you guys on your own solar projects on your boat, on your house, on a cabin, you name it. It would really work for any other situation. Hope it helps guys. Take care. Cheers.